Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome back to another Barcelona Football Manager 2015 Let's Play episode. And here today for the next game, we do have a lot of players missing <laughs> through injuries and suspensions. Of course, how much suspension? Yeah, just one injury. Uh, there's Denis Suarez, Sergi Sampa, Sergio Busquets and Marta Montoya all suspended for European football. And also uh, Gerard Dallafau, uh, he is going to be injured. Well, he is injured for two two to three months and again I mentioned like a few episodes ago like yeah how to pronounce his name and everything like that that seems to be an issue for a lot of people and for me in like a 30 minute episode it's like it, there's more important things to focus on like the results in the game like uh, good performances from players or anything else because it is football manager very in depth I show a lot of stuff as well uh, for me it's really minimal but, yeah, and I said I copied basically or as much as I can from, yeah, like I searched on the internet and Roberto Martinez saying it uh, to a reporter and I take as, be uh, as best as I can. Uh, not really from comments because there's so many different people saying and that's just letters opposed to uh, someone saying it in a video, you know, like a real life manager saying it and action I, I can actually hear and, yeah, say it like that so I hope you guys understand and I can understand yeah one or two times people saying uh, for a for a player's name but like excessively uh, it almost gets annoying at the end of the day <laughs> that's just the truth for me uh, but yeah it's not going to affect too much like this series or anything I just wanted to point it out that um, yeah it does get a bit frustrating a little bit because I want to see I want to see feedback from what you enjoyed from the video not just like something as minimal as that so I hope you guys understand that uh, but here Danny Alves oh yeah he needs to uh, talk to me oh he wants to play a bit more okay and it's a good time to say that and actually play him uh, because, yeah, he's going to come in and look at all the players we're missing. So he needs to, and he is. And uh, that's probably another thing as well. I'm still getting comments in from my last AC Milan episode where I f officially moved. A lot of people saying it's like a bad move and everything, Barca, and probably in a harsh way that I won't like to uh, repeat myself as I don't like to use that kind of language. But I guess... Yeah, when people are behind a computer screen, it makes it easier for them to do that. Uh, but yeah, to, to me, Barcelona, I have a lot of people uh, wanting to watch this. You can see that from the views and the likes on the videos uh, compared to um, other ones. And just because my simple enjoyment, like, I just want to focus on people enjoy watching my videos. Like, I'm, I'm glad people want to watch. And uh, if someone doesn't want to watch, there's other people that's going to come along uh, that are searching for Barcelona videos that haven't found my channel yet because they specifically uh, are a Barcelona fan and I haven't really done a save with Barcelona before or a Spanish one so there's more than just one reason for doing not just to be a hard challenge with Barca yeah that's not a hard challenge but it's a good chill save to do with one month until yeah FIFA is out so I hope you guys understand that well a good chill save and and also a save where there's going to be interest uh for the most part Maybe not from hardcore football manager players who like to be low teams and stuff. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, people who are really like supporters of football, they like to see big teams. That's what I've noticed my time on YouTube anyway. So yeah, I just want to get that off my chest sometimes like because I read my comments before I make a video as well. So yeah, just on my mind and I want to give feedback to what you guys are saying. So I hope you guys take it that way as well. I just want to leave, uh, yeah, give my response to you guys in the comments because sometimes I can't re respond to every single comment so I hope you guys understand that as we'll go into the game and yeah it's Champions League Champions League right now against Inter not the first time we played against Inter in this save so that's what I mean something like that is different like uh, we played Inter like against Inter with AC Milan and now we're playing again it's a different feeling I've never had this in my series before and that's why yeah for the most part it is supported so I'm glad that you guys uh, that enjoy it um, I really appreciate that because it brings uh, situations that I haven't had in a series on YouTube before. So that's all I can say. I'm really, uh, I really wanted to do this. And like I said, it was a perfect time in case people don't like it. Um, yeah, FIFA 16 is only a month away. So all those kind of reasons together. But it's insane how much suspensions uh, we had. That's crazy. They must have been just on the cusp, like yellow cards and the last Champions League campaign. But yeah, we deal with it. That's what I mean. That's why we need this big squad for an occasion like this. I, so I don't think that... Well, the squad is big, but I need it to be big. You can't deny it saying it's not big. 
And he can't say that, but you need it. Sometimes you need it to be this big, and we even are pressured to start Messi, or not start, we still, he, he wants to be rested still. We've been still playing Messi when he needs a rest, because he may need to come on here, maybe to win the game for us, or something like that. So, I think I think we'll go, we'll go in with this team, and hopefully uh, they'll be the ones uh, to get the job done for us. Uh, we are favourites away from home, but this is the test. This is the test for us. And for me, it is. It still maintains as being a challenge for me. Okay, here's this Paul De La Fonte. I've never heard of him before. He's actually uh, Spanish, but yeah. Uh, okay, came through the Inter Academy. Uh, but like I said, it still maintains being a challenge because Barcelona got knocked out in the first round, uh, first knockout round after the group stages last season. So um, yeah, they needed improving, and they didn't win the league. So they're not as good as they could be, and that's what I want to get out of team, so we'll go passionately and say, yeah, we're the favourites here, uh, show me what you can do, and yeah, just the general assertive kind of team talks uh, here, and yeah, I'll be happy with that, and we'll go into the game, and let's see, and also, like, I think I mentioned the previous episode, yeah, like how our game is really attractive, attractive football, that's what I mean, that's why I like Barcelona, probably opposed to a Real Madrid or something, it would... I would maybe feel that fe uh, feeling like Real Madrid will be too easy, but Barcelona, I don't feel, I just feel there's something extra special because Barcelona, you know, they play, yeah, special, like attractive football. Not saying Real Madrid don't, but, oh, no, nah, come on. See, uh, Ter Stegen comes up uh, with a good save there as well. Important. See, they have an early chance. But yeah, for me, I'm not sure what you other guys think, but I guess people watching this video, yeah, people are interested in watching this are uh, the ones uh, that would think that. Like, Barcelona play a really special way. Or people that just generally like my videos as well. Uh, that's what I wanted to mention. People that watch my videos, regardless of what team or what series I'm doing, those are the real my real fans and what I want to focus on, you know. Um, not someone who just watches for one specific series then leaves once I don't do it anymore. You don't like me. You don't like my videos. You're just watching it because it's a specific team. So... I'd rather you not watch, probably. <laughs> but come on. See, this is not even the best start. Inter's having more possession. Come on, what is this? Della Fonte. Ter Stegen saves us again. I told you, yeah, this is not this is not our best stuff. This is not our best stuff here. Oh, come on. Now, Ter Stegen, good save, but they're having a lot of possession. We've cut it down a bit now to be 50-50, but they're having shots as well. Five on target, two clear ones. That's what you get with all these suspensions. And now Rakitic. Rakitic. Goes back to Alves. Oh, I would hope his experience would show. Mascarano was now. Now Iniesta. Danny Alves. Cavani. Cavani finds Suarez! Get in. And again, people have been saying with Cavani as well. See, there's so many topics I like discussing as well. I personally like doing that. I'm not sure what you guys think about me discussing things, but I actually like doing that. Some positive, maybe some negatives. But yeah, uh, Cavani, he's been so good. Some people might question playing him as an inside forward. He's a right footer. But yeah, because he creates like that. He uses his right foot to obviously cross and he creates like that and can score as well. A lot of people have this uh, little idea that if, he, if they're an inside forward, they need to be using their opposing foot when they cut in. They'll be on the like left foot. If on the right side, they'll be the most ideal. But yeah, right foot can still be effective in other ways. You don't. Uh, yeah, a lot of people have the idea of cutting inside forward to cut in. I'll, I'm, try, I'm trying to physically point with my fingers and I'm like, you can't see that. But yeah, cutting inside and taking a shot from just outside of the box when cutting in from the wing. But yeah, it's like, that's not the only uh, kind of thing they do. They do a lot more. But even me, I think that sometimes as well. But yeah, there's a lot more uh, that happens that way. Uh, but it's good to be winning. Uh, Suarez, uh, I think he's getting going now this season. He'll start to be a bit more, a bit more effective. And yeah, a lot of people want to see uh, Cavani, Neymar, and Suarez. Like, how would we play when? They're all have to be on the pitch at the same time. How they're going to play together? Basically, Messi will be where Rakitic is, and they're all on the pitch at the same time. So, magic. <laughs> uh, that's magic there. But mm, I'm just I'm just thinking. We'll go assertively and again guard against complacency. This this is what I'm getting the best out of the team. When we we had an average first half. Inter could have easily scored one, if not two. They had a couple good chances, both clear-cut 
two clear cut chances. I guess we have had three, but the actual highlights they had, yeah, they had a couple good chances. We could have went behind and then, yeah, maybe struggled, but we're getting it done now. Suarez, let's get another. Suarez, Cavani in space. Cavani penalty! Joel Campbell gives it away. You know, he's definitely not the best defensively. He's tacky-minded player, and it is going to be the man Neymar to step up and hopefully... Uh, to find the back of the net here. Normally, uh, Messi will be the pen taker, but Neymar is probably equally as good as taking penalties. Uh, quality technical player, knows how to finish, and he showed that there. We moved to first in the group, but Neymar, look at that. What a finish. More or less smashed it straight at the goalkeeper with power, and he couldn't save it. <laughs> Great penalty. Love those penalties. Uh, we'll make another, ch or we'll make a change. Uh, we'll see uh, who's not having the best of games. Uh, Andres Iniesta will bring on Paul Pogba. <laughs> not a bad replacement to come on. See, that's what I mean. That's the luxury you have. That's the luxury you have. Like, you get to manage someone, well, like all the players at Barca. Then you can sign guys like Pogba and Cavani and uh, the players like that. And it's really exciting. It's It's really exciting for me. That's me playing it, and I hope you guys, majority anyway, not everyone is going to like it, but hopefully for the most part, you like seeing these kind of big players and everything like that. That's where the fun comes from for me, and that's all I can say. I, you don't really need to explain uh, why you enjoy something, uh, really, uh, but we concede, not really good. Ricky Alvarez, uh, scores his first of the season, but mm, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, Neymar, uh, we're just, it's Messi time, Rakitic has had an okay game, we're going to bring on Lionel Messi, and he's going to hopefully uh, get another goal for us, because it says he needs to rest, but in like recent games, just say if we bring him on, like 30 minutes left, 20 minutes left, like here today, it's, he should be able to play for that long until he is fully fit, well, he is match fit, he just needs a rest, so his is kind of the opposite to not being match fit, he's had too much games uh, of recent times, he didn't have a proper rest in the preseason because Olympic Games, but he's a superstar, he'll deal with it, and Pogba, oh, what a striking effort there, and that's what I mean, you wouldn't see too many players uh, take a crack from there and go that close and that powerful uh, who are we going to take off here? Uh, Cavani had a good game, and we'll just bring on Munir. You know, he's been quality. So even a 2-1 here, it's not the most dominating performance and result in the world. Inter's had their chances in this game. By no imagination that this game was to too easy. If it was not too easy at all. Now it's Alba. Oh, Alba to Neymar. Come on, Neymar. 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 Neymar still going, finds Messi, oh, and again, not to forget Lionel Messi, if you take a chance, or no, if you get a chance to manage the best player in the world, Lionel Messi, I don't think many, uh, many managers would pass that up, would they, just the opportunity that would be for you, you know, that's what it feels like for me, the opportunity to p manage these kind of players, uh, it feels great, and it's not like choosing Barcelona from the start, I deserve this job, as Nani takes the shot and Ter Stegen saves it, that's my opinion anyway, I deserved, I got, I did my, I paid my dues with AC Milan, won the Champions League two seasons, uh, which many would struggle to do, a lot of people were shocked that I did it in that short time, in just two seasons, even I was, I didn't think it would be that quick. That's why I didn't think I would move to another team because I didn't think I would win Champions League just in the second season. That's the reasoning why. So I deserve this move. And Munir, that is full-time. Uh, it's not our best game. We had a lot of chances, but the opposition did as well. So I'll just say assertively, it was a good win. No need to praise them too much. Just say, yeah, good solid win. Uh, let's move on. Uh, Garth Asarai uh, got a nice win against Hamburger as well. Uh, but yeah, we should be finishing top of this group. I'd be disappointed if we don't win every single game in the group stage. We should be doing that. So guys, you can also see here that Real Madrid beat Racing 8-0. 8-0. This is the kind of team I have to compete with <laughs> to try and win the league. So arguably, this is going to be harder to win the league than AC Milan because Real Madrid is just crazy good, they're going to win most games, and I'm not going to see who's going to beat them, we're going to have to do that, we did earlier this season, the first leg of the Super Cup, but 
Yeah, A, you got Contrao coming up the score. You got Shakiri. they signed. Ronaldo getting a hat-trick, uh, finished off with a penalty to get that. And Bale, uh, Guvanio, you know, that guy I talked about. How is he going? He's probably having an all right season because he's playing around good players. Like an average player could look like a good player in Madrid with the quality around him. He's, I'm not saying he's a bad player. He's not world-class, though, like Hamas Rodriguez, if you compare those attributes. Wow. But, yeah, that's what, I mean. that's what we have to compete with. Luckily, goal difference. So I'll say goal difference, and ours is only one different. We're probably going to leapfrog that, but goal difference is not the main thing. It's results between teams, so that's why it's going to be so hard. So, yeah, like I said, people say it's, it's easy, but it's probably going to be harder to win. Well, it is, without a doubt, to win the league in... Liga BBVA in La Liga, it's harder to win the league than it would be in the Serie A because of the opposition, uh, no doubt. So hopefully you can think about it that way as well. Just another uh, showcase of that. So now it's time to move into another big game against Atletico. Atletico are never an easy beat. Uh, we'll have to step up, but they've got some attacking injuries. Uh, hopefully they will play to our favor, like uh, Raul Garcia. Uh, Koke saying he's rested, so I'm not sure if he's going to play or not. Oliver, uh, Dimitri Payet is not a terrible player. Payet, I actually like him. Uh, definitely rate him as a player. Anton Griezmann, you think they'll want to start him because he's quality, but again, needs a rest. He's not, yeah, like you say, like we have uh, Pogba and Messi. Uh, that's a little jaded. They've got, yeah, there's other teams uh, with players like that. Again, that would have been because of the Olympic Games competitive, uh, yeah, competitive games before the league started. Uh, usually friendlies are a bit more um, a bit more easier <laughs> not that kind of yeah competitiveness but mm, Neymar 91 percent condition it's Atletico so yeah that's what I mean we've got to have our best players but look we play Atletico in Real Madrid we got Real Madrid in the first game of the next episode so yeah watch out for that that is going to be huge uh, but I think, yeah, I was going to play Sergi Sampa to rest some guys actually for that game. And I don't know what happened there. But anyway, there we go. Yeah, Sergi Sampa, I really like him. That's why I gave him number six as well uh, to replace Xavi. He's in a similar mold as him as well. Really good passer where he had the low finishing as well. Could play defensive mid. Okay, tackling attributes. But yeah, he's more, yeah, like deep line kind of player. He's exactly... He's exactly, and when he plays center mid, I want to change to deep lane playmaker and put on support. And the familiarity, just so you know, that doesn't change at all there. So I can have the flexibility uh, to actually do that. So yeah, we'll go straight into the game. Again, name a low condition, uh, Cavani, but this is why, uh, this is where um, uh, De La Fowl, he will he will come in. He will come in in this situation. But again, uh, we're lacking that extra player. Munir will come though, but we'll take off... Mm, Neymar or Cavani? I'll take off Cavani because Neymar, he, he's not 100% match fit yet. He still needs that match fitness. Even though it says he's match fit, he's not 100%. So you'd rather get game time into him. And we'll see. if This is it. This is the contest between us and Madrid. We go back. If we go back for a second, look at the table. We've all won game so far, but they've played the four games. So the pressure's, pressure is on us to get the three points here and not drop it. Because, again, if I want to go compare to last season, again, I want to show you this. We go back to the previous season. Uh, what did we do? Like, and I don't really want to say we because I wasn't manager. But at the club, as a club, they lost seven games, Barcelona. And look at the teams who it is. It was once Real Madrid, but look at all the other teams. And drawn eight times. But even Madrid did as well. Five losses, seven draws. So... It's unlikely you go the season. That just shows how good we are with or were with AC Milan. But again, it shows how harder this is. Um, sure, there's only two teams that compete. But yeah, Atletico Madrid have their good seasons as well. But yeah, it shows how hard it is. You lose more games. Um, I think uh, the La Liga is more competitive that people give it credit for, um, in my opinion. I'll just say, yeah, what are you going to say? Mm, I fully expect you to keep a run going and win this match. There we go. Yeah, um, I feel it's more than just the top two. Um, there's a lot of teams that can be competitive and affect the actual results. Not challenge to win the league, but yeah, really affect who wins the title. And yeah, some seasons like al allow Atletico Madrid to come up and challenge for it. So I'll just say, yeah, I'll say something different there. I expect a performance from Suarez and he's seen motivated. So hopefully... Yeah, but look at that. See, look at that. Uh, Koke 
Uh, Max Cruz and Mandzukic, really poor, well, not poor, yeah, low ratings, like not 100% match fit. So, well, not match fit, they're just, yeah, a bit tired. But Mandzukic tries ones early. Look at that, 20 seconds in, Ter Stegen is forced into a save, and it was a good save. You got to be, you got to be wary that early in the game. Twenty seconds, you, yeah, your mind's got to be on the game, no doubts. So here now it's Koke, who's actually their captain. Oh, it's Mandzukic. Oh, that that's another player as well, Koke. Uh, he's a really talented kid. Uh, I would love to sign him. Uh, like he's a Spanish player. He'll be Barcelona style. Definitely, uh, he's uh, Atletico have produced him uh, uh, really, really well. He's a good player. I would love to sign him. Uh, just again, that Spanish technically gifted type that could be a replacement for maybe Iniesta when he gets too old. That's what I'm eyeing his replacement as. Rafinha's actually playing today as well. Uh, but yeah, he could be in there. But so, oh, now it's Mandzukic to Stegen again. Oh, he's so good. Like, I've only used him, obviously, in this career mode so far. So it's not like so much. But he's impressed me. I'm almost going to say he's the best I've used. If he keeps it up, no doubt, Suarez and Rafinha to finish, get in. And again, Rafinha scores with two different teams for me in this save. Again, once another th that's another thing I wouldn't experience if I didn't change teams. That adds something, yeah, a little bit extra to the series as a whole. But Suarez, how about that uh, for a strike? And that is Luis Suarez. You can be a bit confused if you, uh, yeah, don't really, you, like you forget which Suarez you start or if the other Suarez is playing or something. Now it's Suarez, he puts it in. Oh, Mandzukic, back to Suarez. Here we go, Rafinha. Look at this play, it's Neymar! 2-0, come on! Come on, look at this! Yes! <laughs> uh, sometimes I get really pumped up uh, when I want to do well. Come on, yes, this is what I want. Rafinha, because there is pressure for us to win uh, with Real Madrid currently top, and uh, we have the game to play with them already played. And now it's Munir. Now Montoya put it in. Back to Munir. Find Sampa. Oh, my God. He almost scores. That was a good effort. A uh, good play. But now Neymar. Neymar. Munir. Munir. Oh, come on. I want to keep it up. A huge win against Atletico. A good team here away from home will be huge for us. Now, it's Vezo. He goes back to one Fran. Keep the pressure up. Miranda. Now, one Fran. Puts it forward. Mandzukic is on. Again to Stegen. <laughs> I can't believe the saves he makes. It's not just like a one-off as well. He makes them consistently. He's insane. He's an insane keeper. I'm, I'm going to say it now. He's the best I've used in Football Manager in FM15. I've had some legends in the past um, that are right up there, what Ter Stegen's doing right now. It's insane stuff. Oh, I say don't get complacent. Um, yeah, keep focused. It's really good reaction there majority of players just a bar a couple that get a really focused reaction so that's important 2-0 the game isn't over at 2-0 but yeah Atletico will have to do a lot to come back against us against Barcelona they're gonna have to do something special and here we go Neymar Sampa Sampa Belanta oh my god and hopefully Belanta can win a Champions League with us obviously didn't with Manchester United he deserves to because he's world-class even though some people don't think so for whatever crazy reason. Like, some people were actually saying that when I said uh, Pedro wasn't world-class and he is. Like, Pedro, there's a lot of other wingers out there, like his quality in Football Manager. But how can't you say Ballant is not world-class, especially a couple seasons in? That's crazy. He's so good. So, yeah, you probably haven't managed him if you think that. He's just crazy. Like, his performances, without looking at attributes, even though his attributes are great, it's performances, like it would be in real life. Managers don't have numbers to judge off, <laughs> as I'm sure uh, you know. It's all about, yeah, the performances, and he always puts in uh, solid games, solid defensive, uh, solid defensive games. And that's how I like to judge my players as well, not specifically off ratings. It's how they do for the team. But Cruz is on, and eventually they were going to break us down. They've actually had more shots on target. So that was coming. But again, it's a showcase again where it is not too easy. We're not dominating every single game. It's it's tight against other top teams in the league and Champions League, like with Inter as well, which again, that will keep me interested in it because it's not feeling like it's too easy. Come on, get rid of it. See, no, nah, this is not good. This is not good. They're, they're having their fair share of chances. Uh, Suarez, like, we don't really... Okay, we'll bring on Cavani. 
see, on a situation like this where Suarez probably not having his best of games, he can bring on a guy like Cavani and, yeah, hopefully he can do something. <laughs> uh, but Sergio Biscuits on a yellow card. Don't want to risk a sus suspension. We'll bring on Paul Pogba and actually put Roman Playmaker there. Go a bit more, uh, yeah, more attacking role. Maybe that could change it a bit. Uh, yeah, Roman Playmaker and we'll just move up to attack and we'll go a bit more, a bit more direct and higher tempo. And be a bit more expressive here. Um, yeah, just be a bit more creative. And hopefully, yeah, we'll have to make changes like this in some games. You can't, this, like, the way Football Manager is now, there's no just, like, tactics you can download. So that's what I don't want you to do. Like, people said you want to know this tactic, but it may not suit your team. Um, I did want to move to Barcelona as well because it suit my tactic that was successful with AC Milan. Their style, yeah, good passes, everything like that. But if you're a different team... Um, with different players, yeah, it may not suit you. And you may have to make adjustments during it. And don't just leave it the same. That's a tip, definitely. You can't just go in same tactic every single game, even though that's what it appears like for me. But I do make changes throughout games. Ter Stegen makes another save. How good is Ter Stegen, really? I feel like I'm repeating myself, but he deserves the praise. He's keeping us in this game. Uh, Rafinha, he's had a good game, but he's on a yellow, and I feel like I could bring on Messi. Actually, Messi will come on for Munir in that case, and he'll... See, he's Messi could be out wide on the right, on the left if needed, but I feel he'll be really good on the right um, in tacky midfield as well, and striker. He can play all those effectively. But saying that, no, Messi as striker and Cavani out wide, yes. Messi has to be leading the line, because... He, he could score a goal here just to separate and, yeah, add some breathing space in this game because they could score at any time. They've had more shots on target than us. Um, they've had three clear-cut chances. We've had four. So it's very, very close this game. Oh, Cruz. Cruz goes to Griezmann. Montoya makes the challenge. He's a guy who's been really impressive as well without having star attributes. And it's Neymar in space. Neymar. Oh, he loses it. Oh, and Montoya, yeah, in this game at least, he's the only defender with over a 7 rating. Uh, Ter Stegen does as well, but he's a goalkeeper. Okay, Pogba. Now Bartra. Let's finish this game off. Go, Messi. Oh, go, Dean. Good challenge. Now it's Cavani. Cavani, Neymar! Oh, so close. Oh, I really hope Atletico do not score now. Uh, Griezmann looks like he'd be in trouble here. Come on. I want to finish this game off. Oh. What a what a game. What a game this has been. So tight. So you can't say it's not interesting with a game like this and Sampa. Messi! Ah, oh, we can't score. Ah. Oh, or score another anyway. We can't score another. But look at their, some of their players. Look, all low conditions. Really low. Oh, now Sampa. Get one, lad. Sampa! Oh, <laughs> what a shocker. It showed his poor finishing attribute there. Wow. This is more interesting than I thought it would be with Barcelona. I did think I would win a lot of games easily, but wow, a lot of tight games here. So hopefully, yeah, you see it that way as well and not like, yeah, as I mentioned, prematurely judge what this series would be like now with Barca. The games are probably equally as intense as I've played before with AC Milan, if not more. If you watch <laughs> this game here against Atletico, craziness. What a game uh, both teams showed. Uh, was definitely even. Uh, in all aspects, like shots uh, around the same mark and possession. Uh, what a game to witness, at least. So, guys, that is it. Uh, we got a big game coming up in the next episode against Real Madrid. Whoever wins it will go top, pretty much. If it draws, stay the same. But, yeah, we'll be looking to win that away from home. Uh, biggest game of the season, really, uh, especially in the league. So, hopefully, we can do well. Uh, leave your predictions for that game. That's something I want to see. Again, something that I'd like to see in the comments, even though it wouldn't affect too much either way. I just prefer to see that instead of yeah, people saying, yeah, you don't know how to pronounce the name or something repeatedly. Yeah, those kind of things I like to see in the comments because then I get more out of YouTube myself. Um, it won't affect me making videos. I still make videos all the time. I just, yeah, I'd get more out of it. I'd really, I'd enjoy it a bit more. But again, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like and I'll see you guys next time.